Okay, that's about as close as it gets right there. I had to add that cover to keep the coil from getting sucked into the magnet. So what I did is I added just some hot glue and a, th a real thin piece of uh, plastic over the cover so there's no way that can draw that out but the problem with that is it added the thickness of this little plate and because the tolerances were so tight I had to readjust the jig to compensate this is the breakout point for that wiring this allows me to diagnose any issues with the coils because if you pull one of these pins you're pulling the lead all the way to the control coil for that particular chip the slave coils are all mounted and I've got the capacity Fasteners mounted. And I wanted to show you here. This is uh, how I decided to mount these, and they're mounted on the inside. So once I put a sheet of polycarbonate over this outside edge, everything will be contained within the box. So any exploding capacitors or parts flying off will all be contained, and that's pretty important. And I'm about to mount the control coils and change these legs here to longer ones so I can mount the generator on the back platform along with the batteries and the inverter. But I wanted to show you some of these things. This plastic right here, instead of buying these kind of things, what I do is I use a common peanut butter jar. I got the logo covered, but I'm sure you can probably figure it out. But this plastic right here is great for this kind of stuff. I just strip the top and bottom off of it, use a strip in the middle, use a pair of scissors and cut it like that and you can use it to mount uh, make little wire looms to hold your wiring and also hold something as big as a capacitor you can see that that's a pretty rigid structure it's not going nowhere and let you know it's coming along not only is it coming along it's just as smooth as glass uh, if you do that to the cart motor you get this wobble sound from the other side of the coil not being mounted and in this case the design it's mounted on both sides there's bolts holding the coils on both sides so it worked it took care of that vibration i was getting and when they're firing it's even worse they're not going to move so i'm pretty sure we've solved it 